In this video, I'm going to break down Google's new world building AI called Genie 3 and reveal the single scariest reason why all the scientists are calling true AGI. You absolutely need to see this. Here's what I will cover. What exactly is Google Genie? I will go through some of their amazing demos and look into the subtleties. And then we will finally talk about why this technology is considered a key step towards AGI. My name is Surya and I've been working with AI for over two decades, currently with one of the original FANG companies. I've seen AI learn to write, then draw, but what I'm about to show you is a fundamental shift in reality itself. So what exactly is Genie? It's what scientists are calling a generative interactive environment. For a second, forget about that jargon. Think of it as this way. A normal AI can create a picture. A world model AI like Genie can create the entire digital space behind the picture and then hands you the control. It basically learned how to do this by watching over 200,000 hours of videos of 2D platformer gamers from the internet. It was never told the rules. It just watched and on its own, it figured out concepts like jump, run and interact. But the new version of Genie 3 goes far beyond 2D cartoons. Genie can actually model physical properties of the world. For example, you can experience natural phenomena like water and lighting and complex environmental interactions. For example, look at this demo from them. This was created from a single prompt, a jet ski during the festival of light. And as you can see, this is so interesting. There are mirrors on both sides where you can see the reflection. You can see the reflection of light on the water and you can see the interactivity on the keyboard, right? So as someone is pressing right or left, or forward, it is moving in that direction and it is passing through all the lights. You can see the keyboard. And as it goes closer, when it bumps, you already saw the reflection of the headlight, right? It's crazy to believe that this was simply generated with a single prompt with so much of interact. One of the mind bending moments for me was when I saw that when it actually went through the lamps, it hit the lamp and the lamp kind of fell apart, right? Imagine the kind of subtleness that this has automatically created. And this is crazy. This is like a virtual world. Now, this is another one, which is one of my favorites. You can see that there are birds, a lot of birds flying. This is from, this is like from a prompt where someone is walking in Illinois. You can see almost like real kind of real life birds flying in. The man tries to go closer to the car and he's able to see that. You can see the reflection of the sun. And it, this is where it just goes very crazy, where he's able to actually interact with the car, open the door of the car. And now you can see he's looking at his own shadow. It's it's very clear now. He's looking at the plants over here. And then he goes inside the bushes over here and then also checks himself out where he is and stuff like that, right? So you can see as he's moving in, the plants are also moving along with his feet, right? So again, the subtleties here are just in great details. And this is another one where they're mixing fiction with animation to create scenarios and expressive animated characters, right? So in this one, the man is walking in a situation where, which is almost impossible geography, mountains are floating, cliffs are inverted, rivers are twisting midair, as gravity is itself bending. But you can imagine this could be a very peaceful of an Irish landscape, but here, based on the imagination, you were able to create something, something wild, right? So bringing imagination and thereby like those kind of environments, uh, virtual environments to life. That's another interesting demo from them. One of other really cool capability of this is you can have promptable world events. So for example, here they are, as part of the demo, they are suggesting, okay, choose a world setting, then pick an event and see how Genie creates it almost in, in real time, right? So for example, here, if I have selected a chicken pursuit runner in a London kind of setting, we can see that this is running, but now what if I change it to dragon, right? So just based on the same setting now suddenly you see the dragon and it created that very quickly and now what if i wanted to have a jet ski right so within the virtual environment the characters or the events could change based on whatever you wanted to so they have some other interesting demos as well so for example here you're suggesting what should happen next and then you can click on deer herd and then the sky driver is going to meet with the deer heads as he goes down right so you can see that is happening you could also generally generate another event, which is where it might see a genie three skier behind him or him or her. So that's crazy, right? Like you can create this on the fly. So that's something which is really cool. The other one is where they have created this goal based approach. So 
let's say that you're walking inside and a bakery or you are in a market and then here instead of approaching the flower stall i'm going to say that okay walk to the stall with tomatoes so based on the goal that i've asked it to do it's going to go and exactly do that right so instead of now i'm sh changing it in real time instead of going to the stall with tomatoes i'm asking it to go to the baker so you can see that it is instead of going to the stall with tomatoes now it's going to the stall you know it's going to the baker right and i can also ask it to go to the flower stall right so you can change the goal in real time and then the model kind of interacts and reacts accordingly and then there are some more examples so approach the rolling costume rack then walk over to the painted scenery wall so what i'm trying to explain over here is the interactivity in the virtual environment that it just created could also change based on the command or the goal or the event that you provide which is a really strong feature which was never existing before this is so this is really the cool thing about genie 3 so how is it actually doing this right so the magic is in what is being called as an auto regressive generation process in simple terms to generate the next second of video the ai basically remembers what happened in the past so the entire journey up to that point right so this allows it to maintain the long term consistency so actually they talk about this over here where people are walking around ancient athens and you can see the subtleties here right so the trees to the left of the building remain consistent throughout the interaction even as they go in and out so this is like super, super difficult and they're calling it out, right? This is generating an environment auto regressively is, is generally a harder technical problem than generating an entire video because obviously you can imagine there could be inaccuracies and the moment there is an inaccuracy, then it's not really a virtual environment. In fact, they're calling it as an emergent capability, meaning they didn't really program it to do this consistently, but it's a property that just appeared, right? So as the AI was trained at massive scale, it basically taught itself. And this is where I talked about AGI in the beginning. When the AI is starting to teach itself, that is where we are clearly going towards artificial general intelligence. So Genie 3 is actually the latest version of the world AI model which generates the 3D environments. You can clearly see the difference here between Genie 2 and Genie 3. It can generate 720p. It is really good in all kind of general domain and Genie 2 was fixated on the 3D environments. The navigation is amazing. You already saw that and it can generate up to multiple minutes, you know, of, of video. So you can imagine the, the potential over here. And if you compare it with Wayo, which is also a fantastic video generation mod, right? It is not able to provide any kind of control. And you can clearly see here the difference between Genie 2 and Genie 3. The interaction basically ends in this one. Genie was able to, Genie 2 was only able to create like 2D, but Genie 3 is able to create 3D based environment interactions. While there is no public release date yet, the technology is already here. We're witnessing the birth of AI that creates entire realities for us and for other AIs to inhabit. The line between the real and the generated is getting blurrier by the day. So, what do you think? Is this the future of video games and filmmaking or is this the real first step towards our own matrix? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive, please hit that like button and subscribe for more breakdowns of the latest in AI. And I will see you in the next one.